right, hello guys. This is Letterland Day 1. Now we're on a different unit. We are on Unit 31, okay? And that is with our two new um, characters we're going to learn about this week. But first, let's review the ones we learned about last week. So let's take a look at that one. Who is this? Good, that is Arthur R. And he makes what sound? R. R. Good. Okay. And this is who? Good. That is Orville or he makes what sound? Or. Or. Good. Okay. All right. So this week we got two new characters we're going to learn about. Okay. So today we are going to meet two more vile stealing robots in Letterland. We'll have to do our best to catch them before they trick us, just like with Arthur R. and Orville Orr. But there is something that makes these two even more tricky than the first two, okay? Let's look at this one. That's one of our new ones. This robot's name is Irving Err, okay? Let's practice his name so we won't forget. Say Irving Err as I point to the picture, okay? Remember, his name is Irving Orr, and you're going to say it when I point to it, okay? Okay, that's one time. Okay, two times. Let's say it one more time. Irving Err, good, okay? What does he like to steal? Look at the picture and tell me what does this robot like to steal, Okay, good. Ippy ink, but this is ink bottles, okay? Yes, he likes to steal ink bottles and trick us into seeing empty sound. But we have to be good detectives and say Irving Er's last name instead when we see empty ink behind Irving Er's back, okay? So let's look at a word with Irving Er in it. Okay, I'm going to flip the character off for just a second so you can look at the word better. Okay, so let's finger tap this word out. So we got g, girl, girl. Okay, so let's listen to it. G, uh, oh. Okay, so that is g, girl. Good, so what is that word? Girl, good. Okay, so what about, look at that word. Okay, so, all right, so let's sound this one out. Again, you can finger tap it or you can rubber band it out, okay? All right, so we got b -er -d bird, okay? So let's listen to it. Uh, uh, d b -er -d. And that word is bird, good, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna flip it back over to our characters. You may be wondering why I said our two new vile stealers, stealers were even more tricky than the others. Well, let's look at this one. This one is Urgent Ur. He is Irving Ur's robot brother. Let's say his name three times as I point to it. Remember, his name is Urgent Ur, okay? We're going to say it three times as I point it. Okay, that's one time. Two. Good. Let's say it one more time. Good. Okay. What does he like to steal? Look at the picture and tell me what is he stealing? Yes, he steals umbrellas. Okay. So now we're going to flip the character off and we're just going to look at our letter. All right. When he steals an umbrella, he says his last name. Er, which sounds just like Irving Er's last name, but they don't spell it the same way, okay? So let's look at these two. I put them right beside each other. Remember, this is Irving Er, and this is Urgent Er, okay? They do make the same sound, but remember, they're not spelled the same, okay? The tricky part is when we write a word, we have to remember whether it is spelled with an U-R or I are, okay? 
But when we are reading a word with you are, we always say urgent urge earth, last name. Okay? So let's say it three times. Ready? Okay. One. Two. Three. Good. All right. So now I'm going to flip it back to the letters, and we're going to look at these two words. Okay? Let's look at that word. Okay? Again, we can either finger tap it or spell it. So I'm going to rubber band it. Okay? So it's t -urn turn. Okay? So let's listen to it. Ah. Uh, mm. Okay, so you hear the er sounds just like Irving Er, right? But remember, we have to figure out how this is how we spell turn. Turn will not be spelled T I R N, it will be T U R N, okay? Let's look at one more word, okay? That word is hurt, hurt. Okay, so that word is uh, hurt. Good. Okay. All right, so now we're going to listen to our, their stories. Okay. Let's learn with robot stories. Choose a story. Okay, so we're going to listen to Irving Ers first. In the gang of foul-stealing robots, there are three brothers. They all make the same sound, but steal different vowels. We are the robot brothers. If you see any vowels behind our backs, don't expect to hear the usual vowel sounds. I'm Irving Er. I steal ink. As I run off, I shout my last name. Er! Irving Er steals ink. He gets into far fewer words than his other robot brothers. Okay, so that one was Irving Er. So now we're going to go back and listen to Urgent Er. In the gang of foul stealing robots, there are three brothers. They all make the same sound, but steal different vowels. We are the robot brothers. If you see any vowels behind our backs, don't expect to hear the usual vowel sounds. I'm urgent, uh, I steal umbrellas. As I run off, I shout my last name. Err! Uh. Urgent Err uh, steals umbrellas. He is not in many words, and he must have cold feet because he's always wearing boots made from purple, curly fur. Okay, so I hope you paid attention to the difference between Urgent Err uh and Irving Err. Uh. We know they make the same sound, but remember, they are spelled different, okay? Okay, so let's look at our new words for this week. Okay, remember again, this is 31, so it should be in your packet. It should be the very last one in the back. Okay, so let's go over your new words. Bird. Girl, burn, shirt, turning, curly, hurt, first, nurse, thirsty. Good, okay? All right, so our tricky words are warm, move. All right, so now let's look at our sentences. Number one. That girl can move very fast. Okay? Number two. The birds are trying to keep warm. Okay? So, for your assignment today, remember we have our Irving Er and Urgent Er. 
So you need to find your word detective sheet in your packet. Okay, so remember you can pick two different colors for each blend. So let's read our word detective sentences for this week. All right, the first one is, Urgent Ur is careful not to burn or hurt his curly fur boots. Okay, and the last sentence is, Irving Ur just got a third squirt of ink on his dirty shirt. Okay, so your assignment today is to remember you read through both sentences and pick two different colors for each of your blends. Okay, and don't forget to review your new spelling words, your new tricky words, and your new sentences.